BBC. happy right now. You don't know how <laughs> I've known this woman since she was playing high school ball at Hammond. Yes. Ken Mulkey, the head coach of the Baylor Bears. Lady Bear, she is the only, y'all look at this, she is the only person in NCAA history to win it as a player, as an assistant coach, and a head coach. And now, if I listen to all of her records and accomplishments, we never get to hear from Kim Mulkey, but give it up for Miss <laughs> Kim Mulkey. Is it good to lay my eyes on I you? Know. Has all these wins that you've had as an Olympian, assist, all the, what did the championship on Sunday mean? I couldn't quit crying, mm. and those were tears of joy and a little bit of tears of sadness uh, because Lauren Cox yeah. got injured, and she changed the whole complexion of that game. We all got a little bit mm -hmm. stressed there in the fourth quarter, but we had great news when we got back. The knee is is going to be okay. She Good. does not have to have surgery. Good. So when I get back, I'm going to give her a hard time and ask her, why didn't she get back in that ball game? <laughs> no, 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 you, no, I'll get you in trouble. Don't, You're don't, right. Don't but we would have been that. less stressed with her on the floor. <laughs> but let's look at those last moments that got a little bit stressful. Uh, we have a little montage of you because uh, you're not active at all on the, on no, the side. No, very passive. What was going through, because it could have gone either way against Notre Dame. Uh, what was going through my head is we're not going to lose this basketball game. Mm. And that's the first thing I told him in the timeout. I said, we're going to be okay. Let's go. We got this. And then Kalani Brown stepped up and she opened her mouth. And, you know, she's my gentle giant. She has Louisiana roots as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we just we just gutted it out. Yeah. We you gutted know. it out, Robin. I know. I know Kalani Brown is here in the front row. We're going to talk to her in just a bit. She was drafted yesterday by the LA <laughs> down the nets. They were playing circle of life. You were there with your daughter, your grandbaby. Did you see her when she raised the baby well, up like like Simba? I did see that and I thought <laughs> why is she doing that? And then she goes, Mom, they were playing Circle of Life. I said, well, I'm glad I didn't hear it because I would have cried some more. Oh, I know, and I know why. And your son is a heck of an athlete, too. He couldn't be there because he's in the minor leagues, baseball. Rob, and it was so awesome. I shook the hands of the players and the Notre Dame coaches, and I turned around to go see Holly Rowe, and my son-in-law handed me his phone, and oh. there was Kramer's face right there on FaceTime. So while he wasn't there physically, he was there with us, and he was screaming on the bus with his Cardinals teammates. I just kept screaming, we did it, we did it. <laughs> it was a great moment. I know, you're so proud of your children. Thank you. The dream. All right, Miss Kalani Brown sitting next to your beautiful mother right there. So you were drafted yesterday. So what was the, uh, the emotions for you knowing that you're going to play some pro ball? Um, I was just overwhelmed with happiness, um, excitement. I was so anxious uh, just sitting there waiting for your name to be called. Um, but it was a great experience and now that you are no going to long, longer play for coach Mul coach mulkey give us the real scoop do the lines or play blood and guts none of that so how is how was it playing for her no nah, coach mulkey is tough you know but i wouldn't be the player i was without her she's passionate and she's she's had my back uh, all four years i'm glad she chose me mm, uh, oh, well y'all chose me <laughs> Yeah. National championship game. She was the 15th pick mm -hmm. in the draft, mm -hmm. so both of them went high. Yeah, I know you're very proud of them both. I absolutely. I, I want to give you a little. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you. I played college ball at Southeastern, line up Southeastern Louisiana. Yes. She played high school ball in the same city in Hammond. She got more headlines <laughs> in high school than we did at Southeastern. That's the kind of player you were. But Robin was the player. I wish you guys could go back and see her thick hair and her Ooh. ponytails. Whoa. Um, no, Robin, oh, look at that. Look at there. Robin and I have a lot of mutual friends because um, she got her start. WFPR 14. WFPR in Hammond, Louisiana, and her sister Sally Ann. I woke up to watch her every morning on WWL television. I know she said, <laughs> "You know who the real star is in the family." You're, you're a star. And your nephew went to Baylor, Lawrence. Mm -hmm. And you, yes. you watched him. We could just, I'm sorry, are we on? Are we're we still on TV? We're, we're, we're just, having a little fun. 
family reunion. <laughs> Sorry. But I, I'm so I'm so proud of you, Kim. I mean that in all sincerity. Watching you play in high school ball at Louisiana Tech, playing for the Olympian, playing for the Pat Summit as, as an Olympian. When you look back at where you are now and what you have accomplished, what stands out to you? I don't reflect on it. Mm -hmm. I live in the moment. I enjoy it. The greatest pleasure I have, honestly, Robin, is to watch the faces of young people do it for the very first time. Yeah. I wanted Kalani Brown, Chloe Jackson, and those players in that locker room to be able to get to a Final Four. And then when we got there, I thought, well, let me be a little selfish. I want them to win it all. Mm. And uh, just to watch their faces, watch the fans, the Baylor fans, and how they just, they wanted something positive and good. And uh, it was just those, those moments, I stop and I just look around and go, we're blessed. Yeah, I know, and it's blessed because you also have success in the classroom. You're also about education as well, getting that graduate well, getting that diploma. Well, we graduate our players. Yeah. And in fact, in the break room before we came on, I was talking to Kalani. I was talking to her sister during the draft. She finishes up in May. There you I go. I don't care what the WNBA needs her to do, get the degree. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. We're proud of you. <laughs> We're proud of you. And I know you guys love her in the yes. city here, but she's a Louisiana girl. We know her roots. We know where Thank she you. came from, past Christiane High School in Mississippi. <laughs> Uh, from you, a couple of super women, I woke up this morning feeling like Wonder Woman, but then I realized if I was Superman, I have one kryptonite. It's that. The Poly